This is how you can create a custom bot invite using discord.js version 14. So let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you'll get access to those source codes. And over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a person custom discord bot any of this is of interest to you go and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video so we can start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create a bot invite.js in here we can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our slash command builder we can get our permission flag bits and we can get our o auth to scopes we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js. So after doing that, we can do module.exports and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be bot invite. Then we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say create a custom invite for this bot. And then we can go ahead and add a string option here. We can do option arrow function. We can go ahead and get our option dot set name. This is going to be permissions. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say the permissions you want to add to the bot. And we can do presets because these are going to be permission presets that I've already defined in kind of like packages. That way this makes it a little less complicated. We can do add choices and we can go ahead and open this up. So the first one we're going to go ahead and get is going to be at the view server. So no mod perm. So you can go ahead and write this exact value in with a comma at the end. And just make sure you get this number correct because this is the number that has all of the view server permissions without any moderator permissions. Quick side note, if you'd like to get a different number or a different preset, all you have to do is search up Discord permissions calculator in Google and you can go ahead and click on as many permissions you would like. So as many of these as you would like. And then you can come down here and you're going to see this link. All you have to do is copy the last number and that is going to be what you're going to go ahead and put into the value of your preset. So we can do this again. This time we're going to go ahead and get basic moderation. So this is going to be manage messages, roles, and emojis. So that's going to be this number. Again, if you want to customize those perms, you can go ahead and do that using the website I just showed you. The next one we're going to do is advanced moderation. So this is going to be managed server and it's going to be this very specific number. Again, you can go ahead and customize that if you would like. And the final one is going to be administrator. So this is every permission. And the number for this is simply going to be eight because we only have to give it one permission, which is admin. So once you've done this correctly and you've put all of this in, just make sure you format it correctly. And by that, I mean curly braces, name, and then you can give it a string name and a value, which is going to be the number and then a comma. So after doing all that, then we can go ahead and come down here. We're going to go ahead and set required to true. We can add a comma. We can do async executes We can go ahead and get our interaction and we can get our clients and we can go ahead and open this up. We can do const and we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that equal to our interaction. We can also do const perms equals options that get string. That is going to be our permissions string, just like that. And then we can actually go ahead and create that link. So we can do const link equals client dot generate invite. And we can go ahead and open this up. So then here we can go ahead and get our scopes. And we're going to go ahead and open this up with an array. And we can get OAuth2 scopes. And we can go ahead and get applications commands. Then we can go ahead and do OAuth2 scopes again. And we can go ahead and get our bot. And we're going to go ahead and add a comma. Then we're going to go ahead and get our permissions. Uh, and we can go ahead and open this up. This is going to be our perms variable. Uh, and then we can go ahead and add a comma here and we can also add a semicolon there. So then after doing that, we can actually go ahead and make an embed here. Uh, we're going to be using a bit of logic for this. So just bear with me. We can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be a blurple. And then we can go ahead and say if, and we can do perms is not equal to eight, or we're actually going to use a string because we use strings above. Then we can go ahead and do embed dot set description and we can go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go ahead and get a link emoji for this and I'm going to go ahead and say I have generated an invite using the permissions you selected to view the specific permissions. Click on the invite and continue with a selected server. And then we can go ahead and do backslash tick, backslash tick. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get a caution emoji and we can go ahead and say this bot may require and we can go ahead and bold this. We can say admin perms to fully function. 
and we can go ahead and say by not selecting the highest perms for your server, you risk not being able to use all of this bot's features. And then we can go ahead and do backslash and backslash n, and we can go ahead and do an arrow, and we can go ahead and get our link just like that. Now I didn't mess this up, it has to be backslash and backslash n here as well, just keep that in mind. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and say else, and we're actually gonna go ahead and copy this embed because it's gonna be the exact same uh, so we can go ahead and paste that in there. So in here, we're going to go from here uh, at this N or the caution emoji. And we're going to go ahead and delete all of that right there. So after you're done with that, it should look exactly like this. So it's going to go ahead and have the first part with the link emoji backslash N backslash N. And it's going to have the link. So the reason we're doing this like that is simply because if you don't choose admin perms, then we want to make sure it's clear that the invite you're using may not grant the bot full access to the server, meaning the bot might not be able to fully function. Um, and then obviously, if you did set it as admin, uh, then we don't have to specify that because you already generated a link with admin. So now we can actually go in and send this. So we can do await interaction or apply. And we can go in and get our embeds and we can get our embed and we can also go in and set informal to true. All right, so we are done with this entire command. The last thing that we actually have to fix here is um, for this logic here, I accidentally said if no perms, just go ahead and remove that initial no and we can go ahead and leave that as is after that. So after you fix that, you can go ahead and restart the bot and we can go ahead and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our bot invite command and we're gonna go ahead and have the permissions value right here. So we can go ahead and get the view server, basic moderation, advanced moderation, and administrator. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the view server permissions as our initial invite link here. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and generate us an embed and a link. And just like we had in the logic, it's gonna go ahead and give us the admin perms alert because this link does not have admin in it. Um, so now that we've generated it, we can actually go ahead and check it uh, just to make sure the perms are accurate. So we have add to server, we can go ahead and select server. We can go ahead and click continue. And here are all of the perms. So as you can see, these are the view server permissions. So no moderation in here. Um, just view server and that's all the bot has for this invite link. So then we can go ahead and try it again So you can go ahead and get bot invite this time We'll do advanced moderation because basic moderation is pretty much the same uh, Although I don't think it has ban and kick permissions So now that we have this we can go ahead and click it open and we're gonna go ahead and test it out again as you can see we have ban kick and basically all of the managed server permissions um and manage server included in that, but it doesn't have admin, so it won't have access to all the channels and possibly all the features. All right, so for our last test here, we can go ahead and get our bot invite and we can go ahead and choose admin. So this time we will not have this alert because of the logic we put into the code. So now we can actually go ahead and send it here. And as you can see, it's gonna say it has generated me a link and it does not have this alert in it. It just has the link. Uh, and if we actually go ahead and click that open, as you can see, it has the admin perms. So that's how you can make an advanced bot invite command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.